how to set up a Thunderbolt bridge to transfer files between two MacBook Pros. So you want to transfer files between two MacBook Pros fast. Of course, there's target disk mode, which we talked about a couple of days ago, but there's a better way to do it if you don't want to take one device offline and basically shut it down. You can use this Thunderbolt 3 cable to transfer files between both by setting up a Thunderbolt bridge via the network settings in Mac OS. So I'm going to show you how to do so right now. First thing you want to do is to connect your two MacBooks with a Thunderbolt 3 cable. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's probably the simplest part of the whole equation, right? All right, so now that we have our Thunderbolt cable connected between both Macs, you want to open up System Preferences on the first Mac. And it doesn't matter which one you choose because you can send files to and from the MacBook once this network is established. So open up the Network Preferences, click the plus sign, and then make sure the interface is set to Thunderbolt Bridge. And then you want to just click Apply in the bottom right-hand corner. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on the other MacBook Pro. So open up System Preferences, click Network, click the plus sign, Make sure Thunderbolt Bridge is selected, click Create, and then click Apply. Okay, so now the Thunderbolt Bridge will eventually change from not connected to self-assigned IP. And that should happen for both connections here. So we'll just give it a second. And should change to self-assigned IP. There we go. All right, so you see the IP address 169.254.xxx.xxx. In my case, 15.15, .15, those last two octets. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll go to sharing under the system preferences, and you want to just enable file sharing for one of your Macs, and I'm going to use the Mac on the right-hand side here. All right, so now we're going to go back to network just to get that IP address once again. Again, it's 169.254.15.15. .15, so that's the IP we're going to use on the Mac on the left-hand side. And this is what we're going to use to connect. We're going to go to the Go menu. We're going to go to Connect to Server. And then just type the IP address, 169.254.15.15. .15. In this case, your IP will be different. So just note your IP address. Click Connect and give it a second while the handshaking goes on. Maybe a few seconds. Come on. Don't fail me. There we go. Okay, so you see the login information. You just want to put in your password for your Mac's user account. Click Connect. And then you'll see a list of eligible volumes to mount. So I'll just choose Macintosh HD. Click OK. And there we go. So now I can view the contents of my computer on the right-hand side on the Mac on the left-hand side because we're connected via Thunderbolt. Pretty cool, huh? So now I'm going to go into my desktop, Users, Jeff, Desktop. And I'm going to just transfer a file just to show you guys how fast this is. So this is why it makes a good a good solution for transferring large files. If you don't want to use target disk mode or you don't want to uh, copy stuff from like a USB disk and then drag it over, this can be pretty convenient. So let's try it out. This is about three gigs, I think, this, this video. And it's transferring. And you can see it is blazing fast. Look at that. So it's almost done. So imagine trying to transfer like a 40 gig file. It would be done in, in just a few seconds. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That is how you set up a Thunderbolt bridge to transfer files. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.